We are just days away from a major traffic change in Denver. The Central 70 Viaduct is going to close this Friday night, and those six lanes of traffic will move underground. Traffic anchor Jason Luber takes us inside that tunnel, touted as one of the most technologically advanced stretches of highway in the country. The new section of Central I-70 actually runs below ground for about two miles. A thousand feet of that is a brand new tunnel. For reference, the Eisenhower Tunnel is about 8,000 feet long, and this tunnel is full of all kinds of new interesting technology. The first thing you'll probably notice as you enter the tunnel on the east side are these nine enormous jet fans on the roof. They'll be used for two reasons. The first, if air quality gets poor because of stop and go traffic. How do you determine which ones you want on at which times? So the, the system is smart enough that it will actually turn on the jet fan with the least amount of wear and tear on it. The fans will also be used if there's a fire to clear out the smoke. While the fans may increase the fire's intensity, the fans will also create a clearer air pathway for people if they need to exit. And to make sure the fans don't fan the flames, there's a deluge system to flood a fire with a hurricane of water. When the deluge system comes on, it drops 3,500 gallons of water a minute. That is just in that one zone. There are 10 zones in the tunnel where that deluge system will help handle a fire until the fire department can get there. Just outside the tunnel are signs to let drivers know if lanes are closed or if there's a crash up ahead. And there are also speakers so police or the fire department can talk to drivers if needed. And there's also this important sensor. It might look like a camera, but it's actually a sensor that will balance the light inside the tunnel with the light outside the tunnel. We don't want someone who is driving down the roadway to have that, that shock factor when they enter and have their eyes taking 100, 200 feet to adjust. By the time their eyes adjust, now they're back out and they, they have to back adjust to the way it was, just the ambient light. The technology in this tunnel is really astounding. From the lighting of the LEDs, from these huge jet fans, from the deluge water system in case there's a fire, lots of technology has gone into this tunnel to make it one of the most advanced in the entire country. Pretty cool stuff there. And here are the important dates and times you need to know for this mile high shift and moving into that tunnel. Friday night at 10, I 70 will close between Washington and I 270. It will be closed all weekend until Monday morning at 5. When the highway reopens, all drivers will be on that lowered section of highway. 